In this unit, we are going to create a bridge for our lower ridge on the Wabash River. So to create a bridge, we will go to the bridge culvert button here that you see on the left. So click on that. And right now, we are in the Wabash upper ridge, so change that to lower ridge. So if there was a bridge present, you will see that on any of the ridges here. So if I change to typical no tributaries, so this is also blank. So what we are going to do is on Wabash lower ridge, we are going to create a culvert. And we do know that our bridge is between two cross sections 15780 and 17044. So we will create a bridge between these two. So 15,780, 17,000. So we can create somewhere around 16,500. That is going to be approximately in between these two. So let's go to bridge culvert window. And then we say options add a bridge or a culvert and it will ask you the station number so we will give 16500 so after you provide the station number what you are going to see is how the upstream and downstream cross section of that bridge look like and then what we are going to do now is we are going to create an opening so let me just go into edit mode here to show you what we are going to do. So what we are going to do is we are going to create an opening like this. Okay. And then everything else will be filled. So the water cannot pass through this hatched area and we will create this opening. Now to create this opening, you need to know the station number here the station number here and what the elevation here is and here is so i am showing you four points for these four points you need to know for the lower points you need to know what the stationing is and for the upper points you need to know what the elevation is and this is again going to be approximate because we don't have any field information so to keep it simple, I'm going to create an opening here. So let's say if I use 4000 as my center, I'm going to create an opening starting at 3500 and end at 4500. And we will use this as the lower deck elevation, which is about 570. So 570, and if we assume the road to be six feet thick, we can use the upper elevation as 576. So we will create an opening starting at 3500 and ending at 4500. So these two cross sections are about 7500 feet long and our bridge will have opening starting at 3500 and ending at 4500. So to do this, we'll go to the deck roadway editor and right now you will see that everything will be blank. So the first piece of information that we are going to provide is distance. So distance is the distance between upstream cross section and deck. So the two cross sections that we used to create the bridge, so they had stationing of about 15,800 and 17,000. So our bridge is in between those and I use 16,500 as the station for my bridge and the upstream cross section is at about 17,000. So I'm going to use a distance of 500 here. Width is the width of the road or deckway. So let's assume that to be 50 feet. So again, this information will come from field measurements, which we don't have. So to create the opening, we are going to provide this information of stationing here. 
we don't need a lot of stations to create the upper portion of the road. So I'm going to just use four points. So beginning, then I want to create the opening at 3500. The opening ends at 4500 and my cross section is 7500 feet long. So that's all I need. The lower cord that we have is 575. 575. The high cord elevation will be six feet more than 575. So this is going to be 581. 5, 581, 581, 581. So we created this for the upstream cross section and unless you want to have different dimensions for the downstream cross section, you can enter that information here or you can just use the copy upstream to downstream. Now these numbers apply to the cross section profile I have here. If you have a different profile, you will use different numbers. So again, remember where you want to create the opening, you need the stationing for that and the lower chord elevation and the high chord elevation will be lower chord plus how thick or deep your road is. So click OK. And then you can see we created this opening here and everything else is blocked. Okay, so we have an opening now. The next step that we are going to do is we are going to provide some piers to support that opening. So in this case, we will use four piers and to do that, you will go to edit the piers for this bridge. Okay, so we need so to do that, we will use the bridge design tool here at the bottom. So we want four piers. So the upstream starting cross section. So our opening starts at 3,500. So let's say this is starting at 3,600. Since our upstream and downstream bridge openings are same. So this will also be 3,600. So pier center opening. So let's say we have about 200 feet and then the pier width is 10 feet and, and make pairs, yes, and close. And you will see we have four pairs now and this is our bridge opening. So if you are satisfied with your opening and bridge pier, so exit the bridge editor, go to file and save geometry data. This is how you can enter a bridge in HECRAS. Now if I go to bridge culvert editor, so you can see for the lower reach, we have a bridge. For upper, we have nothing. And for typical no tributary, we don't have anything. So we just did this for one reach, which is the Wabash lower reach. If you want to do it for other reaches, you can do that too. So this is how you enter the bridge culvert information and this is it for this unit and in the next unit we will see how to assign mannings and values. So go to file save geometry data.